Now you've probably used lots of variables, but can you define what they are? Variable is an identifier, which is a fancy word for a name that represents a location in memory that holds a value. And crucially, this value can change, whereas for constants, this value can't change. So here is some OCR ERL code. Looking at it, what are the variables? Well, we've got two here. We've got total and num, and they are the two identifiers. In this code, we've got some evidence of assignment, which is where variables are given a value. We've actually got three examples of assignment being used. The equal sign is used to assign. Line five looks a little bit odd, so it's important to understand. Line five is saying the new value of total is equal to the old value of total plus num. Look at this program, we've got one variable. What is its identifier? Well, it's discount. We've also got a constant called price. Now in ERL, we have to write the word const beforehand. And what this does is lock in its value, it can't change. And so this code does produce an error. Can you see where this error is produced? Well, the issue here is line seven, because in line seven, we are trying to reassign the value of price, which we're not able to do because it's meant to be locked in, so we'd get an error. So really constants are a slightly more strict version of a variable, which begs the question, why would you use a constant? Well, we use constants to try and prevent important values being changed, which in a big project, when you've got loads of colleagues, is more likely and you wanna try and stop this happening. And also, if a value isn't gonna change, you might as well make it a constant because it makes your code a lot easier to follow, a lot easier to understand. Because for example, if you're looking much, much further down the program, if you know price is a constant, then you know what this code does. If I was a variable, you'd have to read all the other lines of code to try and figure out what its current value is.